Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at how to connect and use a MySQL database with Unreal Engine 5. I'm using version 5.1.1. So without any delays let's get started. So I'm in the Unreal project browser right here and let's just go ahead and create a new project and call it SQL. Open it up and if you guys have any questions or suggestions make sure you guys do leave it down in my discord server link to that is in the description. So what I want you guys to do first things first is head into this github repo. So I've already downloaded it. I'll leave the link in the description. So you'll find this plugin over here. I'll link the github repo in the description so you can download it. What I want you guys to do here is basically extract this. So extract here and just move this over into your project directory, which you can see from the launcher. In my case, it is over here. Right click create a new folder and call this one plugins open it up and paste it in here and now what you can do is you can right click generate visual studio project files it will take a while uh, just close the editor there so once that is done you should in theory be able to use it so once just for safe measure head into your visual studio solution and right click and build so wait for it build so in theory you should not have any errors so it will compile a few files and it should be good all right guys so the build has succeeded so now we can go ahead and open up our u project file and once we open it up the plugin should be enabled for us just since it's an empty project, just go ahead and create a new map. And let's call this one map one maybe. Open it up. And we can go ahead and try our functions. So if you head into edit plugins, database, this one should be enabled already. Now, if you right click on your graph and if you type in MySQL connect, you should find this macro right here, which will help you connect to your database. Alright, so if you were to go ahead and head into your browser now, head into clevercloud.com, create an account and stuff that is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. So I already have mine. So I'm just going to log into whatever I have. And what I'll do is over here, I will head into the add on section wherever I can add it. So if I head over here, create an add on, there should be an option for MySQL. Just select that and you should have something like this. Once you do that, you should get your host, database name, username, and password and stuff. Copy over all that information and just paste it in here. Now obviously how you implement it, where you implement it and how you manage to secure it is totally your uh, wish. You could do it anyway. So this is the database name. This is the username. And this is the password. Obviously I'm going to remove the account after this. Now on success, we can just go ahead and print string. So we shouldn't have any error messages. So I'll just go ahead and print hello on success. So we successfully connected to our database and this object is going to be valid. Now what we can do is once our connection is valid, we can go ahead and run queries. So if I type in MySQL and if I type in execute query with result or without result, result is basically going to give you uh, an array of array of structs. So if I if I go ahead and loop through this, you will actually get each of the resultant rows and each field, whatever you have given in the query. So we have our table in our database. I have already created one, so I didn't to PHP my admin. And this will be the connection object of course. Over here, if I head into databases, and head into this one. So 
so we have one table called problems i had used this for something else and we can just go ahead and insert and we'll just call this one let's say hello so we should in theory get hello printed so go duplicate okay we already added that so that's probably why so we have hello and we have something else so now what we can do is we can go ahead and print it out so you can call this macro and you can say select star from whatever this table was called it was called problems i guess problems of course the sql query is completely yours and we can loop through this once again and we can go ahead and print this we can just go ahead and print the value we should get some string and hello printed so if we go ahead and run this we get some string and hello printed so this is how you basically run the queries and once you're actually done with it it's always a good practice to close your connection so now what you do is once the query is done executing you can go ahead and close your connection so close my sql connect close so plug that into the connection object and you can also execute queries without a result so my sql execute query is simply going to execute the query without giving any result so something like create table or insert which doesn't really have a result so you'll only get success or fail so that's basically it guys this is how you would interact with a mysql database in unreal engine 5 i obviously did not go too much in depth in the functionality and stuff hopefully with with the tools i've provided you guys can make something of your own so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time actually this mysql clause should be in the first loop so i'll see you guys next time goodbye